Come on, Jubi. Hold on. Good morning. I am so excited because I'm on my way to the lawyer's office to finally close on my condo in Mexico City. This has been a process that took way too long. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am finally sitting here in my living room in my brand new apartment in Mexico City that I just bought. And here are the keys. And I'm just so excited because this has been a dream of mine for such a long time. However, let me tell you, it was not easy getting to this point. Just to give you an idea, I started looking for a place beginning of 2022. And then I found this place in May of 2022 and I wasn't able to close until October of 2022 and I wasn't able to move in until January of 2023. And what's worse is that this entire time between the time that I went into contract after finding this property and finally closing on the property, I was never sure when I would actually close or even if I'd be able to close. Because the thing is, if you're a foreigner buying property in Mexico City, you need to have a permit from the government that allows you to buy property as a foreigner. The government had a lot of questions about my passport because I have a US passport and it says I was born in Korea, so they were confused about that. And it was just so, difficult like I felt like I was waiting for my life to start and I was just holding my breath you know and this entire time I was living out of Airbnbs and going back and forth between the states and Mexico living out of my camper van and it was really taking a toll on my mental health to be honest and on my consistency on YouTube because when you're constantly on the go I felt like my nervous system could never relax because I was always in like fight or flight mode and adjusting to new surroundings. So all that to say, this is a huge moment for me and I'm just so excited to finally be showing you my place after tons of back and forth between my lawyer and Asian and the government. I'm happy to say October 6th, I finally signed the closing papers and got the keys. So that's a bit of the backstory. We'll get into costs and everything like that a little bit later on. But for now, let's do a little tour. So here we are on the patio. I am definitely going to revive the dead plants. They were already here when I bought the place and I will add a little bit of a coffee table. And it's really special to have a large outdoor space like this in the big city. It's one of my favorite things about this apartment. So that's the outside. Let's go look at the inside. So this apartment had a very open floor plan and there aren't like rooms for separate you know, functions. And so I created this little office nook and this painted arch, which I discovered on Pinterest, it creates this little like closed off area for the office. I also wanted the office to be close to the kitchen because it's gotta be close to the snacks. I'll be adding a bookshelf, a bunch of plants. I mean, everything's really messy right now, so just ignore it. It's gonna look so much better in the after photos. Um, and then here we have the kitchen. The kitchen is the place where I'm doing the most work. That and the bathrooms. Um, before, when I got the kitchen, I did not have this island. So I didn't have much counter space because it's very small over there. And I love to cook, so I wanted to add a nice big island with beautiful butcher block countertops. So that is something that I'm working on now. I can't wait to show you when the kitchen is done, but I'll also be doing this like minimalist shelving on the top and put some pattern tile as a backsplash. I'll be showing you that very, very soon. And the other thing when I got this apartment is the lighting was so ugly. So there's these like really ugly, you know, white fluorescent lights everywhere. And then there's a mixture of these warm lights elsewhere. So it was just really ugly. I don't know how anyone can live like this. So I'm definitely gonna give the lighting a complete makeover, add some chandeliers and strategically placed lights. So I'm really excited about that. And now we are moving to the living room. This is literally my favorite room in the house because of the high ceilings. There's this big window that looks out onto the street and you can see these flowers and trees. So I've seen a lot of apartments in Mexico City when I was looking and none of them had high ceilings. So when I saw this one, I knew it was for me. Um, and we'll go upstairs in a minute, but I also want to explain like before I bought this place, I had been in this sort of transition chapter in my life. I was living in Denver, I got divorced and I was considering moving back to New York City where I had grown up and spent my 20s. And I was even considering buying a place in New York City and all of that. But then I discovered Mexico City on a trip visiting a friend here and I just fell in love with the place. Like Mexico City has it all. You know, the food, the culture, art, history. There's so many interesting people from all over the world. And so I had spent my 20s in New York City and I was really looking forward to spending my 30s in Mexico City, sort of in a new country, new place and see what kind of person I would become there, you know? 
Um, I feel like the city that you live in has a huge impact on the type of person you become. I haven't really had a chance to go out and make friends and build a community, but that's something I really want to focus on here too because no city's gonna feel like home if you don't have a community. All right, quickly, I wanna show you this dance area. You can't see it yet, but I'm gonna put a big mirror here and this and leave this as open space so I can do like yoga and do my dance workouts and just have this nice big space. So um, one thing I appreciate about, about, about this apartment is the amount of space. So moving on to the bathroom and the upstairs area, this is the guest bathroom. So it's a one bedroom loft where the entire upstairs is a bedroom and then there's two bathrooms. This is gonna be for guests. Um, it's really ugly. Uh, the tiles are super outdated. I'm gonna redo everything, so I don't even know if I wanna show you, but, um, but the bathrooms and the kitchen are the places that are gonna have the biggest transformation. So moving on to the bedroom area. So like I said, this apartment has a very open floor layout, kind of like an artist's loft and there weren't a lot of like walls and built-in sort of amenities. So I'll be adding a California closet built into the wall over there. I'm also gonna add a little bit of a wall to divide the closet area and the bedroom area. When I first got the place, there was this weird little nook area and I didn't know what to do with it, but after kind of working with my designer, I decided to add some bookshelves. I'm gonna add like my meditation cushion, maybe my red LED light over here, and it'll be sort of like my reading and wellness nook. So I'm pretty happy that we came up with something cool to do with a space that was a little bit awkward and weird. And I wanna show you my bathroom, but the workers are working on it right now. But we're gonna redo all the tiles. I've always wanted a bathtub, so I'm finally gonna do that so I can have like my daily bath ritual, which I have not been able to do while living in a van and living out of Airbnbs. So yeah. Okay, now let's talk about cost. First off, I wanna say I am not an expert by any means. This is my first time buying property in a foreign country and I have made a lot of mistakes. The first thing is I wish I had known to transfer money and at a better exchange rate. Um, I would wire money from my bank account in the US over to whoever needed to be paid here in Mexico. And that means the exchange rate wasn't favorable and there were a lot of fees. If I'd known better, I would have used an app called Wise, which offers much better exchange rates. And I probably could have saved maybe a couple thousand dollars with the exchange rates, but hey, you live and you learn. That was my first mistake. The other huge thing is, and I'm sharing with you openly so you can learn from my mistakes, is that I would have negotiated harder when buying this place. So I didn't know anything about construction and renovation. So when I bought the place, I didn't realize until later that you know the laundry room would need additional plumbing and that maybe the kitchen needs updating and just a few little things like that. So I probably could have negotiated a bit harder with the seller and say, hey, I'm gonna have to you know re renovate these things. It's gonna cost this much. So you should give me X amount of discount on the purchase price. But you know, you live and you learn. Not everyone buys property in a foreign country every day. So sometimes you just need to learn by experience. But in the end, the seller and I agreed on a purchase price of 6.2 million pesos, which at the exchange rate at the time would translate to a total of $312,000. And then in Mexico City, you also have to pay taxes, notary fees, and other closing costs, which could add anywhere from five to 8% onto the purchase price. So for closing costs, I ended up paying an extra $21,125.61. So in total, we're looking at a total of $333,000. Of course, if the exchange rate had been more favorable at the time that I bought the property, it could have been way cheaper. I mean, even a two or three peso difference could mean tens and thousands of dollars of savings. But, you know, I closed on the property when I closed on it and that's life. The point is, I now have a home that I love where I can finally relax and turn into my dream work-live loft. I finally feel like I can relax, you know? I feel like life is about to start. So, in the end, I mean, not that cost isn't an issue, but in the end, this is an investment in my happiness, in my mental health, my physical health, and honestly, what could be more worth investing in more than that? So real quick, I do wanna say that I did not get a mortgage on this property. I paid for it in cash. One of the benefits of owning your business is you can make all the profits for yourself and there's no limit to the amount that you can earn. You know, the harder you work, the more you can earn. So I definitely feel very grateful for that. I really think entrepreneurship has opened up so many doors for me and made so many things possible. That being said, if you're interested in buying a place in Mexico City and can't afford to pay for a whole house in cash, they do offer mortgages for foreigners. I'll link to some resources below. 
but um, I just personally wanted to not have any debt on the place that I own. I do have investment property in the States and I have mortgages on those, but that's different because the mortgage pays for itself. But for the place that I live in, I just prefer to have complete peace and security and no debt. I just sleep well at night and that's the way I like it. So anyway, I'm in the midst of renovations. I can't wait to show you guys the results. I don't know what the renovation totals are yet because we're still working on things and I've made a couple mistakes here too. But when all that is done, I'll definitely be sure to share with you guys. Um, meanwhile, I'm just really busy, you know, finding furniture, designing and making this into the perfect, you know, work live loft where I'm going to spend the rest of my 30s. Uh, also, really fun fact, when I bought this place, I wanted it to be like the perfect bachelorette pad and I was envisioning like reenacting my own version of Sex in the City and Mexico City and make all these friends. But one week after going into contract on this property, I went to LA for a music festival and met my now boyfriend. So now I'm in a long distance relationship as life would have it. Uh, luckily, he did agree to move to Mexico City as soon as he sorts out his papers. So it's just funny how you can have your life planned out and then life just throws a wrench in your plans anyway. But I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on everything. I'm really excited to show you the results and thank you so much for following me on this journey. If you're interested in following along the renovation project and seeing the final results, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! These are the two suitcases I brought from America and I haven't even been able to unpack it because there's nowhere to put it. <laughs> my washing machine is in my living room. So nothing makes sense right now, but hopefully all that's gonna change really soon.